Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on South Mountain Creamery Farm. How y'all doing folks? Y'all doing alright? It's your host, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, I, I did why was why I'm at the sawmill is because of this reason right here. Two hundred and twenty eight trees. Two hundred and twenty eight trees was cut down. I I, I worked uh, <laughs> I, I, oh man, I, I worked straight, straight, straight through. I went through, cut all of them, and then uh my son actually got on here and helped me stump grind the stumps. I hope we got them all. But um uh, yeah. Um, just to show you know my son says if you don't film it it didn't happen so uh, trees cut down 260 total 260 total yeah that is a lot of trees folks also we got 163 eggs in the backpack and eggs in the coop is 14 so uh, our egg count is getting up there. But what I want to show you, this right here is ready to be harvest. Uh, it can go to this color, but I, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and harvest it because tomorrow our crops should be ready and I don't want to be doing uh, crops and cutting the hay. So, um, or a soil sample showing that this needs to be fertilized so I got the fertilizer right here uh, oh okay I already on it enter and there he is oh I do that every time he did that World War 3 gaming folks World War 3 gaming drove that down here for me but it looked like he left it, either he left it open or he opened it to see, to show me that he filled it up. But anyway, uh, let me get this guy going. And uh, I wish I could fertilize that little strip right there, but I can't. But that's going to be taken care of too. The reason why I want to get this guy going well, other than besides, you know, we need farming. Um, I got to drive down here because this is two fields. Um, Colin Julian Vlogs, Mr. Yankee, a uh, bunch of others. Now, I need to get a um, saying, you know, uh, like World War Three Game Man, uh, Dark Knight. Not dark night, dark light. I think. But that is why I need to put them on the list because I can't remember them off the top of my head, which I should. Because y'all are very awesome people. And uh, one of y'all are very awesome indeed. And I just want to give a big, warm hug of a thank you. You know who you are. That's all I'm going to say because they want to be anonymous. Um, but yeah, uh, I will do that. I'll be going, uh, town here in a, uh, day or two, probably Saturday. And, uh, I will get that. Y'all see how it didn't fertilize right there? Because it's not really a feel. Ooh, I gotta get over. I gotta get over. There we go. All right. If I hire a worker... See, they're going to turn. That's what I don't like about. They're off set a lot. I think if I go this way. Okay. We'll just do that. We're going to. Bama girl Amy's going to drive it for us. We're going to catch her at the end real quick, hopefully. 
I've been having this uh, tractor spread out gravel and pack it down and stuff. And you can see we got some down that way, some this way. I forgot I raised this bank up over here in GE. Yeah. See, that kind of helped right there. I should have done a, a little bit more. Well, I, okay. It took here too. I went all the way down through here. That was a huge drop off, and now it's not very huge at all. And you see how I come out to here. So that worked out pretty good. I just need to figure out how many spaces from over here and do this. Uh, but just to show y'all real quick, we got 36,750 seeds. 36,750 seeds off of 21,000 liters. Uh, this is where you load a tipper. That spot there is where you load a uh, planter. And this right over here is where you put in. Uh, and just dump like corn, anything like that in there. So that was pretty good. Um, I got. I gotta get back to Bama Girl Amy. I, I hate to ha have to fire your Bama Girl Amy. Maybe we'll get you back in here, but I gotta turn you this away. Uh, folks, we're going to get uh, mowing this as soon as ba uh, Bama Girl Amy gets uh, everything sprayed and then we're gonna bring up big more over here now I've been doing I uh, sowed some uh, sellage it was sellage let me turn my light on oh this bright uh, down at the very bottom uh, I'll show you here in a second it's called a horse barn uh, I sold a bell of solid air and uh, it was $264. And then at the field that we got, now I'll show you in just a second, I sold it another bell there and it was $264. Um, but the prices I got was $264, $529, and then 793 but you uh, take away each time on that it was like 264 264 264 at, at both spots so if I done the math right that should be $264 for each bale I sold so it really don't matter we sell them at but our barn is easier to get into with a semi turn that bright LED light back off but um yeah to, to haul a semi load of sellage bales to one of these places uh, that are you can look at right there on the map up top there you see a little small green 29 with a sellage or hay bale symbol underneath it that's the uh, one spot you know it's closer down here at the bottom and hire back a worker here okay who who minimal Michelle's our driver now so let me go to this screen real quick right down here you can see horse horse farms and right here um, it is very tight and hard to get a semi in there but if we go up to here it don't have a name but we own this here but if you sell them here it's the same price but we can get I think we can do a circle with a semi right there and the other place would be right here at the biogas and it's got a pit you gotta dump into so we can unload them in that pit but we can't hesitate once we dump them we had to dump all of them there at one time so it'd be easier to dump these at all at one time with an auto load trailer so i get a course route made from here down 
all the way around through like that right there to here and then back because uh I had the guys take the fence out of here what what what, what? you already done that sorry middle mom Michelle I had to fire you I need you to go this way at least for right now I might have to do this myself or at least get it started probably wouldn't hurt to do it myself anyway let's see if we can here see the higher worker wants to go this way and we have seven stars doing it now that map down um yeah uh, let's see I hate to do this because I hate cutting the videos but I, I really need to get this done and then we'll bring the mower in so oh and that's another thing they don't go all the way to the end let me show you this real quick uh, before y'all noticed the, wood, the fence only came like to right there so I had them take the fence all the way over to seal this in I gotta say I done that well you can kind of see the difference there like two different posts there but it works pretty good just for what we're going to but I don't know what's in there um, it opens up to the cows so I don't know if the cows come down this far or not but I think about the only problem I did have you can see right here I couldn't get that no better folks I've tried the fences are in a long group and you just have to luckily I found this short piece here but anyway that looks you know it it's sealed but this that wire sticking out bob wire sticking straight out it's kind of looks funny and I could not find an individual post to go here you know right there's one post and the wire was sticking out this way and you see where that wire is sticking out that way so what I done yeah come on now this is actually a tree and all I done is pulled it from over there brought it over here and turn it upside down and brought it down under the map and you can see it looks pretty good to me anyway but anyway I'm going to do a jump cut here because we gotta get we gotta get mowing folks so I'll be right back in a second all right I just got done feeding the or feeding heh, watering the sheep and uh, we're gonna go over here get the mower as soon as the sheep moves out of my way my you too they're pretty tame they won't uh, get out when the gates open a lot of them will jump out here and close this gate I wish I had some animated gates with their clothes on their own would be nice I have to sit here and hold the X down half a pallet of wool uh, let's, let's check real quick on our animals yep yeah, they're all good the cows health is up to 31 percent now and of course the sheep's are 85 percent so it's funny how that changes though from the sheep not showing their re reproductive rate and the cows are now next animal in 282 hours so we'll have to be buying some cows probably um I don't know what I need this on I want to get the mower over. That's the first thing we need to do. So let's start it up. Our big, big John Deere tractor back here. Oh yeah, that's uh, 
talked to the guy at the sawmill and stuff and he said well if you help me cut down some trees you know I'll pay you a thousand per tree as long as it's the the tall ones you know get so many meters out of them so I'm like oh that sounds good to me uh, let's see here I was wanting to put the baler on this Can't remember where the baler at. Let's, see, let's go. Let's run over here real quick. That's right. I put the baler in there, didn't I? Okay. That's the only thing I hate about getting all this stuff together. I'm just going to go ahead and leave the roller here because we'll probably need it. Won't need it anytime soon, but we'll need to add a. Oh, we do have fertilizer. That's the first one there makes us fertilize. Then we got our seeds. Then the back one makes fuel. So that should cover our grounds for right now. Uh, I did buy a planter. It's an older style planter, but it does corn, beans, sunflowers, and sugar beets, I believe. I'm thinking about getting um, just a load of grass out of this, a load of hay, and then the rest of it's going to be silage bales, but actually, you know, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to have one load of nothing but grass bales. One load of hay bales. And the rest of it's going to be just loaded with the loader wagon and dropped into our fertilized place and our fuel place. Because both of them make silage for us after we get it processed that way we don't have to worry about making hay bales I mean uh, silage bales alright I'm going to park this guy right here but as far as the money situation I went to paid back I had like maybe what 30 Probably not even 30000 left after I got done buying all my stuff. There's a PTO. PTO ain't going to hook up, is it? Oh, I killed it. Um, for, oh, I need to unfold. Maybe it will work it. Just got to unfold. As a matter of fact, unfold the chrome too this thing is huge I don't think it's going to work or will it oh yeah it's going under the tongue so we're good there baler's on lower the pickup let's see if we can make some bales And a crone zone. Okay, there it goes. It's mowing. Bowler's working. All right. I just don't know how sharp we can turn with this guy, so. I think as long as we don't turn too sharp. Oh, I know I don't own that field. Come on. There we go. Now, I did missions on all these fields right here. Uh, there's fertilized mission, hauling poop and stuff for the guy. Uh, James Harris, if I believe right. But I'm more in this field here. Give us time for uh, no star reviews to get done. You know, I, I, hang on a second. I'm going to go check out something. 
Did he do? He did do. Yay! That's what I was wanting right there. When he sprays all the way to the end, it catches the other one. Good. That's that's what I was wanting. So we'll get done with this a whole lot faster. Um. Oh yeah. Where was I? Yeah. Please speak. Still be on. Yay! It's still on. Baylor too. Okay. Alrighty. So. Yeah, I know I don't own that field. Just keep mowing ours. Just keep mowing ours. Okay. Oh. So, folks, hopefully, uh, since uh, everything went through, uh, special thanks to this one YouTuber, um, I'll be getting a FS19 in a couple of days. Um, I know my Ocello Walmart doesn't have it, so I'm going to have, that's why it's going to be in a couple of days. We'll probably have to go to Jonesboro or, um, our Blobble Walmart should have it. Uh, I live, uh, four miles from Ocello Walmart, well, probably about five or six, because it's a little bit further, four miles to the city anyway. So six miles to that Walmart and probably... 18 or 19 miles to the Blobble Walmart. So, um, I'm, uh, I didn't check those cellar. I didn't see it nowhere uh, the other day. But it's like two days after the fact. And uh, I haven't checked Blobbles yet, so I'm going to go check Blobble. And then, um, if not, well, I'll have to head to Jonesboro. And that's like 60, 60, 70 miles away. Um, yeah. It, it's an hour and five minute drive, depending on how you drive. So I ain't going to worry about that little bit over there. I'm glad wings on this thing don't have no collision or I'll be in trouble. And I wish this baler had a, a counter on it so we can count how many bales we made. Okay, so we're not quite enough for another bale, so I'm going to shut this off, fold it up, and then I'm going to shut the baler off, I'll poop out what bales we got in there. It's just one in the chute. And we're going to go ahead and fold it up. And, of course, it's I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to show y'all the new way of going to field 31 and... And 42. And plus, it'll be a little bit scenic. That way, y'all can see our canola looking about right. But I still don't think it's going to be ready tomorrow. It's just unless it turns later this evening. I'm figuring probably two more days. So if that's the case, I'm going to just fast forward. But folks, I'm going to get this to uh, through a field. Well, I was going to show you what now. There's our mixers. There's our little calves. Um, I'll close the gate here. Because you can see our cows are roaming out there. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, right over on the edge of the screen. Almost out of sight. So let's go. This might tear up some crops. But not 
that much. We only, we can only take this in through here. Yeah, probably going to tear up just a little bit there, but we're going to make this a little wider. Make a road down through here. But there's our cows are going out this way, and I think I made a boo boo with the fence. Probably gonna have to go back in GE and uh, redo that. I don't like to. Maybe we can get by with it to say they escaped or something. But as soon as I done the jump cut where I go, I noticed there were some cows out in this part. So yeah, see there's a cow right there coming. He's going to walk through this fence probably. But I want to go uh, down this way and um, let the fertilizer finish. And I'm going to get started making a new uh, route. Which I'll probably have to cut the outside edges first and do it that way. And then uh, redo this, but I want all this to be one field. But I want to mow the crops off of it first before I dis. And I'm gonna dis some of this road here in too, so not much. Just leave us a boundary there. But anyway, let me do another jump cut, and uh, oh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Oh, before I go, um. Yeah, here's where I'm going to be stationed and everything, so. Get this big beast turned around here. I think the baler's going to work. I really do. Like this. But anyway, folks, I will be right back in a second. I'm trying to back up and hook up to this tether. And while I was doing that, I got thinking, we won't need that baler, that, that uh, uh, bell wrapper, excuse me, bell wrapper, we won't need no more. Because um, where we got the baler set up now on a big M to drag behind, you know, it is, there's no need in it. Trying to think where I'm going here. Field farm to field 31. Uh, I'm gonna take all other stuff that route because it be easier. All right. Um, they still are doing pretty good over here. Um, 4.6. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to use this tractor here. Which, uh, Granny Monsters delivering that for us to field 31. Uh, this one's got more iris on it, so I'm going to use it more than this one. Uh, this, because it's probably going to be our next tractor we trade in. And as you can see, I, I can't remember who was doing it. Seven, no star reviews, I guess. Uh, it didn't quite work out as I planned up there at you can see, well, hang on. Let me get this like this. Nope, it's still not going to work. But anyway, you can see straight above there's trees, how it's darker and stuff. But anyway, we got uh, three, six, nine, ten bells off of that little field right there. So that was awesome. Um, go ahead and unload those. And of course, uh, they'd be closer. I keep forgetting. There we go. So, three, six. Ah, that's why. I sort of say seven left I, I, I counted six right ago this this fella here didn't want to go in there we go so now we need six bells to finish this out 
And then we're going to start taking. Oh, why did I shut it off for? Excuse me, folks. Excuse me. I'm just a little, a little tired. Actually, I am a little tired in real life. Uh, we had a fire the other day, or not here at the house, but the fire department had a fire. Ooh, 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 scoot, scatter, folks. Don't want to run over you. There we go. And uh, it was three and a half hours long. I'm like, oh. But um, it was an abandoned house, as usual. Uh, folks didn't live there for about three years. And um, kind of glad it burnt in a way. There's a combine. We got to get it going, too. Uh, or not going, but getting it ready. Uh, I'm still waiting on the fertilizer thing, folks. It might be next episode before we get to mow. This tractor here is a good tractor, but I'm holding the takeoff. It, it takes at least 20 seconds for it to take off once I pull the trigger. Uh, I gotta get a fuel wagon. Um, which I can't do because I owe 137000 Yeah, that's why I'm wanting to get some sellage uh, made up extra so we can sell. Uh, I just... We'll wait on this before we take it up there. I uh, see here. Yeah, I gotta stop this guy. Stop driver. All right, folks. I'm gonna do a jump cut. Finish out the. Because uh, we should be roughly around 30 minutes in. 14, 14 is 28. So no. Five or six, yeah. Before I make it any too much longer, I'm gonna just jump cut, get the fertilizer done, so we can start mowing. Speaking of the fertilizer, where are you? There's a truck. There we are. So we got that bit right there to go. A corner on that, and and that bit there to go, and uh, we'll be ready to mow. So uh, be back in a second, folks. Welcome back, everybody. Told you I'd be back in a second, right? What I'm doing now is putting an outer uh, line boundary, I guess you'd call it. So when I mow, the course play will know what I need done. So I'm going to lose a lot in this corner, but. I don't want to get in there too tight and have problems. So uh, we, uh, no star reviews, ended up getting it all done eventually. Uh, I had to go get another load of fertilizer, so it took a full tank and uh, I don't know, probably not even a hundred liters out of the, the other tank. I think it's like on 3,800. But um, when I do get this mowed, oh, 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 a little too fast. The slower the better, but I'm trying to speed up so y'all get to see some mowing. But these strips here will be mowed. That's why, uh, not mowed, but plowed and planted with grass. And that's why I'm doing this like I'm doing now. And, um, uh, Hopefully, if I do this right, I'll go in, um, put the boundary in first, and then put uh, the field in, and hopefully it'll work out. If not, I have to mow each one as their own field, and then uh, come back in after a plow and then uh, put in this one big field. 
So I don't know which way the best way would be. So any of y'all out there familiar with course play? Uh, I know where I need to go. I need to go with Kentucky Farmer. He's a YouTuber. I used to watch. Uh, he quit making videos, I think. So I ain't been his channel in a while. Ain't got no notification from us, but you know how YouTube is. But I ain't getting into that, but my designation is right up here. So, uh, this is probably going to be a little, a little long video, but <laughs> my two past ones been almost an hour. That one's 58 minutes, I believe. But the, the important part is you want to make sure you line up with your marker up here. So that's why I'm kind of slowing down here. And you can see we got the truck and the tether. Alright, I'm going to stop right there. And I'm just going to save this as fill 42 and fill 31 mo and then uh, I think after that we're going to go to this no let's save I already saved it. I need to go to this. And currently loaded course will be field 42 and 31 mo. Um, want starting location? Let's see. Would this be considered south west corner? Starting location. Let's just say current vehicle position, starting direction, uh, longest edge. Uh, we want one headland. And let's uh, calculate that. And hopefully it comes out right. Okay, let's, let's see what we got here. So we start right here. Is that right? I have no idea. Um, let's get the map off and let's get this off. It looks like our course is right there. Let's just try it and see. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Better hook up to the bailer. Is our wing going to be in? No way. No. Okay, good. All right, we uh, see the pickups is lowered. Let's turn the bailer on. And that looks like I can't zoom in with this on. Hang on. That looks like our first waypoint. It is. Okay, so we're going to go over here. Uh, work position. Next nearest. Uh, go ahead and turn the big M on. We're going to mow up to this point here. Just like that, drive course. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Lower back down. Turn back on. Let's pull up this a little bit more. Now drive course. 
stop at the last. I was hoping it'd be over a little bit more, but it looks like. What is it doing? A stop driver. Uh, and let's go back. Of course, that bell is going to be in the way. Uh, turn Baylor off. Yeah. It's doing pretty good, folks. We're going to drop these two bells or this other bell out. Okay, just got two. How many did I say we needed? I can't remember. I think we needed. Oh, we're going to have to have the tractor anyway. That can't be the start point. I guess it's going to be. Um, folks, we need. What, six of these bells? Oh, I can't remember. I think it's six. Let's lay them there. What I'm going to do is just change this to first waypoint. and drive course and I'm going to go over here and get the truck and we got the fertilized buggy and the, and the weeds there All right, there the baler's leaving now Fix it. We'll go ahead and pick up these two. Right. So I need four more bells. Alright, he's letting down, turning on. Grass bailing, mowing. You can see up there in the top left. Alright, control F. I know, I gotta get back in that chrome big M. I'm my own chrome. Here we go. So we got. Oh, I can't see. Looks like one, two, three. That's four, five, and six. So uh, we need to stop. Now this is going to be nearest. And this is where we just disconnect the baler all together. I'm going to pull back up a little bit. And then we're going to drive course. Okay, we're going to stop this for a second. Uh, we're going to shut him off. And we're going to turn this guy off. Because we got to get a tractor hooked up to the baler now. Then the tether. And, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to back this truck up. And like I said, I don't know why it's leaving that. It might get that last. But we gotta have. Get her tether in here behind. Or in front of the baler, actually. 
Actually, I think we can go ahead and mow. Um, yeah, because all I gotta do is put it on this course. So, okay, we'll do that, folks. Drive course. Yeah, hopefully he'll come back around drive. If not, I have to get it. But at least he's going to take out both fields at the same time. So uh, we gonna need the tether first. Because now we, I wanted a, a load of grass bales, but those six right there will fill what we got so we can blanket it and then uh, we need a load of hay bales so I'm just gonna let this run throughout the whole thing here um, change that to work position we gotta go in here it'll be down here now actually oh crap okay yeah um gotta get back in the oh don't run over betsy i gotta stop driver one more time And I got to save this. As uh, field, we're going to call it 3142 Mo. Uh, Mo Big M there okay and we're going to uh, drive course there he goes yeah see there's another cow okay uh, we'll need this guy so much for not putting irons on them, right? Because <laughs> after the tater, we're going to need a wind roller. And then also, we're going to need this other guy right here. So. I'm just going to do it like this then. Uh, farm to field 31. I'm going to get right here. Slow down a little bit. Drive course and stop at the last. And big am still going. I get this other stuff going. This tractor we need. We're going uh, da, 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 da. farm to fill thirty one. Yes. And we're just going to drive course. about here stop at the last and you know what we might well go ahead and get this big board right here going too because it won't take long to fill up that trailer and let's see here the farm
and uh, I'm gonna drive course when we get over. Actually, I don't think this one's been set up. There we go. Drive course. Stop the last. That way, it's got the, the hazards and beacon zone. We won't get run over. All right. Um. Now we can go back in this and I'll delete course. Go back in here. We're gonna go. Uh, um, this and here. Fill 42. No, no, no. We're gonna go this and fill 3142 mo. And uh, we're in work position. So we'll put the tether down, turn it on, and drive course, stop at the last. And well, you know, we're perfect timing. Stop driver, we're gonna close this out. Amber Girl Amy, appreciate it. We'll put you in work position. Um, no course loaded, so we want to fill 3142. Folks, I'm getting uh, about out of time here, so uh, at least you see what's going on. And I'm just going to bring the next episode right in. Uh, I might do a couple rounds with the big M, but I'll bring. Next episode, probably back in right after, maybe. Don't quite know yet. Uh, get a load of hay there, which I need a, a good full load, so. I'm going to turn this on right here. And going to be a spot of miss. Uh, I should just be able to hit drive course. Stop at the last. Just like that, folks. Oh, this uh, World War Three gaming is driving a big M. All right. Made all the way around. Uh, of course, you see our money's down to 148, and that's because I had to fill up the fertilizer. Yeah, sorry about my chair squeaking like that. But I'm just curious to see what he's going to do here. Put our eye back up. He goes to here. Then what he's going to do? Pick up and drive down? I think he drives all the way down and comes back here. Yeah, that's why he picked up like he did. So that's going to be in the way. Just lovely. I can move this, but I can't move the uh, baler right now. Oh, good. He, he, he stopped. Let me uh, get that one tractor here. And stop driver. We're going to clear that out. Go ahead and start them up. Get them where it's moving over there. I'm going to put them in work position. And then we want to choose this in here. And then we're going to get over here. We're going to hook the baler up. Get the baler going. And then we're going to get the semi truck following behind, picking up the bales. And we should be good to go to, to, to knock this fill out. Uh, as soon as the truck gets full, uh, that's one thing I want to keep an eye on. So this might be a little bit.
hate when a camera does that. Alright, we're going to turn it on since it's, everything's already done. Get this little spot here. I'm going to shut it off. And I can't zoom out while that's open. I don't know why. As you can see, I'm circling around over here. And turn it on. There we go. And then drive course. Stop at the last. And this is where I'm going to have to. Oh, the truck's still running. Good. Our big M should take off. And I gotta watch this guy as soon as he gets full of bales. I'm gonna have to stop with the baler. Which I might make another load. I don't know. There's a lot of grass out here. Um, oh, we're gonna need a lot of hay bales. Slow down, slow down. Whew. Control F. Our big M's coming on. Um, shift that down to about ten behind. Yeah, I think we'll get another load of. Yeah, I, I think we need another load of hay. I, I really do because I'm just thinking here folks uh, the grass or hay goes in that one mixer and silage we already got quite a bit of silage so I, I'm thinking about one more load of hay bales I, I really am And probably where I'm going to do this is just go ahead and drop what I got. I have to stop the baler because that's what's going to be tenderous or tedious, tedious or whatever, how you say that word. Oh, I need to back you off a little bit now. About 20. No, about 15. I missed that little spot right there, but be all right. I need three, six more bales. What up, Big M? This is where I wish they would, you know, tell who's driving the course play routes. We got Black Wolf. I see him. Well, why they ain't naming the rest of them? All right, we need two more bales. That's one, that's two. Now we're gonna be full. So, stop this driver. Okay. All right, folks, I'm gonna cut this episode right there. And um, we'll come back on the next and let's pick up where we're off, I guess. What do y'all think? All right. Um, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for coming out and supporting. Uh, y'all support is wonderful. And once again, to a special YouTuber that wants to be anonymous, a big thank you. Big, 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 big thank you. Uh, yeah, so folks, uh, don't forget, hit that like button, share me with your friends. If you're new, 
hit that red button and then uh, a little bell symbol beside of it uh, you get notified each day and then once they're going all the way down there I'm gonna cut right through here so um, folks I hope y'all having a blessed day a great day and I will see you tomorrow whoa little hill there Later.